Good evening, I'm John Scott, and this is the Fox Report. It's the bottom of the hour. And if you're just joining us, Sanders making his 2020 run for the presidency official on Tuesday. He's expected to expand the debate on democratic socialism in the election cycle. Sanders is now one of nine Democrats to declare candidacies, with two others announcing exploratory committees. Let's bring in Dave Leventhal, senior political reporter and federal politics editor for the Center for Public Integrity. You know, Republicans often like to nominate the second place finisher from the previous campaign swing the next time around. Is that what Democrats might do with Bernie Sanders this time? If anything, it's going to be harder for Bernie Sanders this time around because of just the number of candidates that are already in the field. You should just show the graphic. And then we could have several others who get in who are going to be more than just semi-legitimate candidates. They could be front-runner type candidates like a Joe Biden or even a Michael Bloomberg who has effectively unlimited wealth. So Bernie Sanders, he's got a lot going for him in the sense that he's got a lot of money. He's got a lot of passionate base. Uh, he's somebody who, in a way, even though he's on the opposite end of the spectrum from Donald Trump, uh, he has the same kind of support on the left that Donald Trump has on the right, and that can be very, very sustaining fuel for him going deep into this primary season. But he finished second, obviously, to Hillary Clinton, and, and she hasn't said one way or the other whether she might consider running again. Is that a possibility? It seems highly unlikely that at least at this juncture, Hillary Clinton would get in absent some sort of catastrophic political situation on the Democratic side. You have so many candidates like Elizabeth Warren, uh, Kamala Harris, Cory Booker, and the list goes on, uh, who, who very much seem to be uh, trying to vie for the Democratic banner. Uh, most of the Democrats uh, are, are really not talking about Hillary Clinton right now, at least among the electorate. So look for those candidates to be the ones that are getting all the attention, not uh, some sort of uh, figment of Hillary Clinton coming in and uh, suddenly entering the race in, in a month or two. Uh, Bernie Sanders certainly changed the conversation uh, last time around as a democratic socialist running for the presidency. Sure. He says the ideas that he brought to the table back then have sort of gone mainstream now. Listen. All of those ideas, people say, oh, Bernie, they're so radical. They are extremely American people. Just won't accept those ideas. Well, you know what's happened in over three years? All of those ideas and many more are now part of the political mainstream. Is he right? He's, he's right to a point. Uh, for example, H.R. 1 was the first bill that the Democrats put forward in the House when they took control of the House in January. What is H.R. 1? Well, it's a whole package of different types of ethics reforms, campaign finance reforms, lobbying changes. And, and it's, it's very thick. It's very detailed. It's probably not going to pass uh, much at all, uh, at least in the next two years. But it does show that the Democrats, at least the establishment Democrats, have taken major cues from the issues that Bernie Sanders was talking about in 2016. In that way, he's right. But still, some of the democratic socialism ideas that Bernie Sanders espouses are, are not going to be uh, necessarily a part of going forward of the democratic platform, whoever becomes president of the, uh, president of the United States or the democratic re representative on the democratic side. But it seems like the declared candidates, the Elizabeth Warrens, the Kamala Harris's, um, uh, Cory Booker's, uh, they are taking the party farther and farther left. I mean, that's what makes Bernie Sanders' position seem almost mainstream these days. Well, if you get a Joe Biden coming in, we mentioned Michael Bloomberg, if he comes in, Howard Schultz, who might run as a potential independent, these are people who are not going to necessarily be that far to the left and definitely represent a different quarter of the Democratic Party. And you could even say that about uh, somebody like Cory Booker. Uh, you could say that about Amy Klobuchar, too, uh, at least in, in certain ways. So there's a diversity of candidates, racially, ethnically, age-wise. You have traditionalists all the way up to millennials going on right now. So if you uh, w want a Democratic candidate that really, really fits your personal beliefs and political philosophies, and you are a Democrat, you're going to have a lot to choose from, John. You mentioned Joe Biden. Uh, he says that Biden's potential candidacy is the key as to whether or not Hillary Clinton might actually get into the race. Listen to this. I think it depends upon how the field is, sh is shaping up. I think uh, if the, the party looks too far to the left and there's no front runner, she'll get in. Uh, I think if Joe Biden gets in, that, that probably means she won't run if he gets in. If he doesn't get in, I think the field will be open for her. And I didn't introduce that correctly. That's Mark Penn. He uh, worked for both Clintons in their presidential campaigns. He is the one who says that a Biden candidacy might uh, prevent Hillary from getting in. 
Well, before anyone talks about Hillary Clinton, let's figure out what Joe Biden's going to do. Joe Biden has wanted to run for years. Joe Biden has run two other times back in 1988 and 2008. He didn't do very well then, but that was before he was vice president of the United States for eight years. So he's, uh, he, he's 76 years old. Uh, he's somebody who is uh, obviously at the end of his political career. So if he's going to do it, he's going to do it now. And he really does want to do it. What's holding his back and back uh, could be family uh, considerations uh, would be not Number one, uh, his wife isn't really all that thrilled about doing it. So that could be a consideration for Joe Biden as uh, he does the calculus. And that's going to be happening over the next couple of weeks. It certainly seems more Democrats are going to be jumping in. Dave Leventhal, Center for Public Integrity. Thank you. Hey, thank you, John.